Hi, Pastor Bob Reynolds here. I would like to ask a question. How old were you when church became an important part of your life? <laughs> I read the story about this four-year-old boy. His name was Dylan McQueen. He's from Ohio. And he was playing out in the yard one day with his neighborhood friends and then suddenly disappear. On his bicycle, he disappeared. Well, the parents, of course, thought the worst, you know, oh, kidnap, uh, you know, the worst that, that you can think. And uh, they didn't know what had happened to him, of course. He then uh, the, uh, they tra he, he had traveled about a half a mile on his little bicycle, crossed several uh, major streets when the police finally found him. Well, um, they warned parents, you know, of course, that uh, parents should take you know, precautions during the summertime when the weather gets warmer, children are apt to wander off, just like Dylan did. The police uh, asked uh, what he was doing, and he said, uh, well, uh, I was working my way down to the church because there's a special program there, and I didn't want to miss it. <laughs> this little boy, four years old, didn't want to miss a program at the church. <laughs> After the family was reunited. Of course, there was joy and happiness and all that. They all piled into the minivan and they went to church. <laughs> How do you feel about church? If you were asked to describe your feelings toward church, what would it be? I want to give you an idea of what it should be. It's found in Psalm chapter 84 and verse 10. Listen to the psalmist. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. <laughs> would you rather be a doorkeeper in the house of your church than to be anywhere else? Well, that's my prayer for you today and for me. Father, the church is such an important part of our lives and should be a tremendous influence in what we do and say in our relationships with other people. I thank you for the story of this little four-year-old boy that encourages us so much to really be a part of the church. In Jesus' name, amen.